Hey there, it's Jamie. Welcome back to another video for the Zappos scraping project in fall of 2022. So I'm starting with the data that I've downloaded from my Zappos men's running shoes. And the link to this data is available in the comment section to this video if you want to follow along. But this is the data just as it's come down from the scraper. And you will confirm before moving on by going to File and Save As that your file format is Excel Workbook. All right, so we're going to go through kind of sorting this data and cleaning it, which is the first step in any data analysis, and it's often the most time-consuming step. So this is the data as it's come from the web scraper. And the first rule of data analytics or data analysis, business analysis, anything like this is to keep your data, the raw data, um, so that if you've made a mistake, you can go back to it. So rather than starting our cleaning and our analysis in this first sheet, I'm going to name this sheet 1, and then I'm going to make a copy of it. To make a copy of the tab, I click the tab and then right click. I select Move or Copy. And then I'm going to say Create a Copy and move it to the end. Then I'll say OK. And now I've got my second version of my first tab. So you can see as I click between them that they're identical. I'm going to rename this second one 2. So I'll double click in that tab. I'll click 2. Now this 1 here, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to do all my analysis or I'm going to at least start working in 2. And this 2 is going to be our cleaned data. If we mess anything up along the way, we'll just make another copy of 1 and start over. All right. So let's start in 2. The first thing that I want to do is sort this data according to the web scraper order. Why? Because we, when we scraped the data, we had it sorted in terms of best selling shoe. And that is actually a very interesting piece of information to have uh, because we're going to get a measure in some ways of sales. It's not going to be a perfect measure because sometimes the shoe to be best selling, it kind of has to be around for a little while. So a new shoe um, might be just as excellent, but not have been around for a while. So it might not have caught on, right? So each of these measures has some limitation, but getting best selling is actually quite a nice thing to have. So we're going to sort the entire sheet. And to do that, I'm going to click on this upper left hand triangle. And under the data ribbon, I'm going to choose sort. Make sure to click my list has headers. And then the column is going to be web scraper order. Rather than A to Z, I want it in the other direction because it seems that the scraper actually scrapes from the end to the beginning. And I'll say OK. Now we can see the Hoka Bondi 7, our most popular shoe, is now at the top. All right, I'm going to do one more thing before moving on into a different tutorial. I want to get the exact number of overall stars that these shoes have. And where that was is in this tab, in this comment, link to product. So I'm going to make that wide by double clicking the line between columns C and D. And then I want to clear out a little piece. Uh, I want to add a little spot. I'm actually going to want that number to be over here between um, uh, moderate art support and comfort. So I'm going to insert a column to the left of comfort. Let's actually do a couple. Let's give ourselves three. And I'm going to give them these are going to be my labels. I'm going to call this one right, and then I'm going to call this one left, and then we might be able to fix it without using this third one, and then you'll see. Follow along. So I want to, if we look over here at this link to product, there's actually a ton of information here. We could have actually used just this one link to get the name, the brand, um, the MSRP, the sale price, and the overall stars, but it's actually a lot easier to, to get the um, data through the scraper than it is to go through this cleaning process. So what we want to do is somehow capture, we want to get that 4.4 4 
out of this long list of text. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to ask Excel to return the right hand specified number of digits. So I'm just going to count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm just going to ask for the right 18 digits. Then I'm going to take the left 3. And I'll be left here with 4.4. So here we go. Right out of this text, give me the right hand 18 digits. And the formula isn't we're going to calculate. I've had this happen a couple times today, so we're going to do a workaround if you run into this problem. Rather than trying to put the values in the middle, we're going to come over here and put them at the end. Now let's try it again. Right, left, and then we'll see. We're going to still do the same thing. Equals right out of this text. I want the 18 most right digits, and that should return, yep, 4.4 out of 5 stars. So 4.4 out of 5 stars, 4.4 out of 5 stars. This still in this box is a formula, not a number. We're going to keep that in mind. We're going to do the same thing now to get the left three digits, right? We want the 4.4, that's three digits. So we're going to say equals left. Out of this text, I want three. Now we're left with the exact number of stars. So we'll take this, and it's going to be a little bit unfortunate. Huh. Excuse me, having technical issues. trying to find the top of my spreadsheet. Don't mind me. I would restart this video and start over, but I'm trying to get this out so you guys can see it, so you can watch me flail for a minute here. I want these to go all the way down. And even though they're broken, it's okay, it did. Great, and it's working. So now I've got my rightmost 18, my leftmost, that is my actual star rating, but these have formulas in them rather than text. So check out what happens if I need, because I don't want to keep this column that says right. I'd like to get rid of it, but if I do, I have a problem and I won't be able to keep my overall number of stars. So I need to get this so that it's not a formula. Rather than being a formula, I just want that value. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over in column U. I'm going to do paste special. And that will allow me to just keep the values. You may, when you right click and click paste special, you may get little boxes with images in them. Just mouse and hover over those boxes till you see the one that just says values. Now I've got it. This is now my overall star rating. And I'm going to delete column S and T so I no longer have right and left. So you might be taking a look at all of those little green triangles in each one of those corners. That's Excel's way of telling you, hey, pay attention, something could possibly be wrong. So let's see what it has to say to us. Look, it's that yield sign. Number stored as text. Well, the problem with number stored as text is that Excel can't do math on text. We need to turn it into a number. The way to do that is by using what's called the text um, I'm sorry, the um, yeah, text to columns function. So we're going to click on S. We're going to go text to columns. We're going to do fixed width. Then we're going to click next, next, finish. Now these are numbers that we can do math on. So if that seemed a little fast for you, uh, rewind and try again, apologizing for my um, loss of my space on the spreadsheet for a minute, but that's okay. Now we're there, we've got our overall star rating. Let's take it and do one more thing, because I do want it in column M. 
I'm going to click on the M. I'm going to click Insert. Then I'm going to click on the T. I'm going to hover over this data until it turns into a hand. If you're on, um, oops, if you're on Mac, it, if you're on a PC, it'll be a really thin little cross with arrows at the end. And then I'm going to drag it over to column M. All right, now we have the overall star rating. Okay, that's all I'm going to do in this video. That's getting overall star rating, and um, I will see you in the next video. Happy calculating.